Good morning, modern statters. Around 4 a.m. this morning. You like my little hand movements? I heard Rusty's ladies making lots of noises. Sounded like they were laying eggs. I don't think they can be laying eggs that early in the morning, but we're gonna find out. Let's. Oh, no way. They did lay an egg. One of them laid an egg. I've never had a chicken lay an egg that early in the morning. I had to open my window this morning. Because I heard all this racket. I was like, is a predator getting one of our animals? What's going on? And I opened the window and I could hear one of Rusty's ladies talking. She laid an egg. Oh, I see we had a few chickens that didn't go inside New York City last night before it got locked up. We need to close this door. We can keep most of the chickens in New York City. Because today we're going to move them. Oh, that don't work, does it? Son of a... I can't just close that like I thought I could. So I just untied this for now. We'll have to make cut our ramp back a little bit so we can close our ramp up. And then keep our ramp shut up against the doorway. Even if that's open, the chickens won't be able to get out. But that's going to be our MIG shift setup for this morning. <laughs> I just don't want all the chickens coming out before we get a chance to move New York City. Because then we got to chase them all inside. How good milking do you think Buttercup's going to do today? Pretty good. I think today she's going to be good, but a little bit. She knows what's coming. So. She knows we're going to be milking her? Yeah. So it might be a little bit, but she's going to get awesome. She is, and I wonder how much milk we're going to get from her this morning. I think she's going to be dripping without it. You think what? I think she's going to be dripping before we even get to she has to I think we're going to get a whole quart. Yeah. Oh, Rusty's lady's already laid an egg at like 4 a.m. I collected it. I heard him. Yeah, I heard so. When I opened the window, I'm like, what is going on? And there's a chicken laying an egg noise. You ladies coming? Come on. Good morning, Hope. You got babies growing in there, or is it still too early? So the question is, should we do an ultrasound on Hope 40 days after she went in with Zeke? If we wait 40 days, we'll be able to tell if she has babies in there. Should we do that? Leave it in the comments down below. What do you think, should we get Hope ultrasound? Yeah. Yeah? There you go. You still got food in there, girl. She does, and she's looking at me for more. Yeah, she's just got a little bit. No. Hey. Uh. She doesn't like it when it gets low. Willow tries to be the boss of everybody, even us. <laughs> And then there's the pigs. They're just always hungry for a snack. Hi, huh, girls. You're looking nice and thick, though. Go make some good bacon, aren't you? Don't touch the fence. Why do you got to do that? I hate that noise you make. Oh, don't do it. Don't touch the fence. Ah, I told you not to touch the fence. I know. That's going to hurt back there. You didn't see it? Come here. I threw it right here. Right here. There you go. Good morning, boys. You sunbathing there, Caleb, or what? Huh? Little man. We feed our pigs grain three times a day, and then we'll give them food scraps, too, when we have them. So, they're looking nice and juicy. Figaro. I make Buttercup look bad. Right? Can you produce as much milk as Buttercup, Willow? How about you saying that and Buttercup will be like, yeah, I'm done today. Right. I don't think Willow's going to want to share her milk with you, dude. <laughs> no. She's not going to want to share with you. I don't think so. 
I was one that didn't want to get in last night either. I locked this coop up every night and I don't know where she was hiding, but. Watch out, I don't want to hit you. Well, they were ready to get out. Rusty. I'll feed you over here this morning. See how the meat birds did last night. Plenty of water, plenty of feed. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't see any dead ones, but it looks like there might be one or two. Bummer. I'll go back and get those in a minute. It always happens. The first night you usually end up with one or two losses. Never gets easy though. How'd you do, Willow? Says, says, I don't know, I want some more food though. Oh, she must have just burped. Is she burp in your oh. face? It's horrible, horrible. Goat burps are stinky, <laughs> I'll put it at that. You ready to go see Nora? Come on, we'll go get Nora. She's waiting for you. I know, I gotta unclip you first, there you go. <laughs> go get her. Come on. <laughs> Holy smokes, that udder filled up there, Buttercup. I think her teats are even bigger than Willow's. So funny because she's such a small girl. And, and she's Willow's daughter. It's all three of them, though. That's for the two and the other one. Oh, that's Ivy. You ready for small grain? No, you gotta keep your head down. There you go. Thank you, this gentle. You gotta hold her foot just a little bit because she gets antsy. She doesn't kick, she just likes to move it quite a bit. Oh, she lifts it way up. Like on my arm. You ate all that grain already? All right, we'll give you some alfalfa pellets. Hungry. That's it. She's holding back for them babies. They'll yeah. appreciate it. They will. So we got just shy of a quart of milk for her this morning. Lots of milk to filter today. Yep. Oh, oh my, my goodness. That was just some crazy. You kiddos are so noisy. Come on, Mama. All right, I gotta go clean the stalls. I'll get this one with her out. Gonna need our ball hitch, and it's not in the tractor. It's not here. Maybe it's over here. I remember seeing it somewhere. There's a ball hitch, and we're gonna need that chain. Oh, it feels good to finally move NYC. Chickens on fresh pasture, and we're gonna get them turning some compost for us. Stop, stop, stop. 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 Oh, oh we had a perfect. 
going to the ground. compost pile and get the chickens turning it for us. While New York City moves easy, it's pretty sketchy on uneven terrain. So, that being said, she's not going to be a good fit for our other pasture because it's not very smooth. So we need to build another coop for our new pasture. I'm curious to see what the chickens are going to do with this compost pile. This pile's been sitting over here for at least six months, if not eight months. No way, we're actually going to end right where we need to the first try. I don't believe it. I bet they're ready to get out. Here comes Maverick and Goose. I gotta fix this after that. Take it apart to get it to stay shut this morning. So we'll jerry rig it. Come on, ladies. Order Phil. Where's all your feathers, Moose? The ladies pick on them. That's not during, fair. During maintenance season. <laughs> Gina wants her goat stop moved closer to the barn. <laughs> That way I think it's shaded and sunny too. It's nice and shaded.
trying to keep the feeder in areas where the grass is real spotty. It was really bad over here, and now we're going to have it mulched with some nice hay. This will get reseeded from the hay seeds. And then same with over here, we'll just keep moving around this area. The girls will be dropping their hay that they don't eat, and that'll put more seeds on the ground and mulch and organic material, so it'll make it grow grass better over here. We'll just keep probably doing that right around here. And so far they're doing an awesome job with pasture management. This was all brush because I couldn't get in here with the Kubota with how rocky it is. So I was never able to mow this. And look how good they're keeping it over here. The girls just got turned onto this pasture last fall. I'll put a link to that video right here. When we finally got this fence in and we let them run free for the first time. We're finally gonna hang these up. We need to apologize. We've yeah. had some of these since winter and we were yeah. just too wimpy to come out and hang them up in the cold. Yeah, and then it just gets put aside, but we thank you so much for them. They're, it makes us look really cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it's really awesome. Remembrance of CWC. Yep, and then we got- We do miss her. We got some ones from Australia. South Australia. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right. And if you're new to the channel and you don't know who CWC is, She's a crazy white chicken that we used to have last year. And no matter what we tried, we couldn't keep her in New York City confinement. We clipped her wings, everything. She'd always fly over and we'd find, we, she'd follow us around like Figaro on the homestead. And basically she would be in the pig pasture eating and then she would come to New York City and eat some more. And then she would follow you around and This is where it all started. This one license plate. Pretty cool. one hook that cost about 99 cents from Lowe's. So this one hook right here and our power drill is gonna save us a few hundred bucks for power roll up sides. Oh, they have actual power roll up sides? Yeah, they have a power roll up side that you can put on here and it's like between 150 and 500 bucks depending on what brand you get. But this is gonna do the same thing and it costs us 99 cents. Well, that sure beats hand cranking. I like this, we'll keep this in the outdoor kitchen and we'll have it handy. Greenhouse is looking good. Oh, our nemesis, the weeds are starting to grow up. We just gotta get the plants a little bigger and then we'll mulch them? Yep. Once these plants get a little bit bigger, we'll mulch them with some nice fresh compost. Them tomatoes are looking so nice. I like how nice and thick they're getting. What are you girls up to? You hiding in the barn? It's nice out. You should be out here. It's so nice out. Yeah. Were you napping, Nora? What are you doing, Ivy? Huh? I exactly I mowed while I was moving goat stop so they have a nice manicured lawn that they can pee on <laughs> 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 
Moose, what do you think you're doing up there, dude, huh? Come on. Let's go in here so that goats don't try to get your grain. How many eggs do you think? You moved them today? Oh, yeah, only 11. 10. 10? I'm going to say 8. How many eggs do you think we're going to have inside New York City today? It's nice and shady on this side. One, two, four, six. It's a broken one. Eight. 10, 11, another broken one. What the heck? 11. Two broken ones though. What do you ladies think about this heat? Huh? You like this 86 degree weather? Don't you touch the fence. I don't know why you want to touch that thing. I wouldn't want to touch it. No, no ma'am. Uh-uh, no, don't do it. No, no. All right, ready? We're gonna go over here. Right behind you. There you go. You want everything in it or just lettuce? I'd say just lettuce tonight. Which kind? Surprise me. What kind do I want tonight? Um, I think I'm gonna do this mixed one. Mixed one? Yeah, lettuce on burgers would be good. You can't okay. even tell that we've cut any of that mixed lettuce. You can't tell we cut any of it. If you get a weed, it's your extra flavor. There's not very many weeds in here. I'm gonna get down lower though. I'm gonna cut a couple onion tops. I'm gonna cut this one right here. Just a little bit, we'll try it out. Some fresh green onion. Okay, now you go put some burgers. It smells good. And we have a juicy burger. Bit of lettuce out of the garden just lettuce tonight this is a quick little tool just to be quick i read instead of using a cutting board i'm just doing cucumbers so i'm just going to use this just got like a little cutting board right here Try a little bit of avocado oil and a little bit of red wine vinegar. I'm just gonna remove this because I never like it. immersion blender to break together. Not have any flavor. Doing it just that had absolutely no flavor, so I'm going to add some mustard to that. Dijon mustard.
little splash of syrup. Maybe. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit more oil. Splash more. Any of you have some really good salad dressing? Really good, easy salad dressing recipes? Leave them down in the comments below. Or send us an email, that would work too. I'm just gonna add it right to the salad. Oh, it's so nice to be able to go out in the front yard and just pick what lettuce we want to have for dinner. We had some of the mixed salad greens in our salad and then Gina cut, I think they were romaine lettuce to put on top of the burgers. Can't wait till we can go to the greenhouse and we can start picking cucumbers and tomatoes and zucchinis and summer squash and the list goes on and on. What is your favorite part about summer in the growing season? I just know there's so much good food you can grow and I'm sure for a lot of you that are living in southern climates you're probably already eating a lot more fresh produce. If you guys have any good salad dressing recipes send us an email with them. That's one thing we struggle with is coming up with good dressing recipes that are fresh and clean not loaded with too many preservatives. Thanks for coming along on our homestead journey list guys. It feels so good to have New York City move to fresh green pasture and I'm sure Moose and his ladies are gonna love it. We'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.